Ya voy a empezar, ¿ok? Yo te aviso. Let's talk re-automating on this A320 aircraft. You're going to need to re-automate. Look, after a TCAS RA, when you do autopilot off and flight directors off, you'll have to re-automate after demonstrating the steep turns. You will have to re-automate after the unusual attitudes. You're going to have to re-automate after the stalls. And when I say re-automate, I mean putting back on the auto thrust, populating the FMA with the appropriate modes, having your autopilot placed on, your flight directors. How do you do it? In what sequence? Let's talk about it now. Look, to re-automate this aircraft, we always start with auto thrust on. Auto thrust on, and what this means is literally your pilot monitoring will push the auto thrust on for you on the FCU, on the flight control unit. Now, be mindful, okay, that your pilot monitoring does this. Pilot flying, you do not want to be flying the aircraft and reaching to the FCU at the same time Okay, this is FCU etiquette 101, if you will, so you want to be flying the aircraft and commanding all this. Auto thrust comes on, and the next thing that's going to happen is you place the thrust levers to the climb detent. And remember, the climb detent is the maximum auto thrust range with two engines. So, auto thrust on, thrust levers climb. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to call for flight directors on. Flight directors on. If you're taking notes, you want to place these in sequence. This is literally how it is. Step one, step two, step three, flight directors on. Step number four is we call for the appropriate FMA modes. FMA modes. Now, remember your FMA. We have a five column FMA over here. Okay? Hopefully I get by here. Let's see. All right. We're going to have one more. Looks like two, three, four, five, right? So we have over here our auto thrust column, which is going to be in speed mode. Okay, this is the auto thrust column, column number one. Over here, we're gonna have our vertical modes. Now the vertical mode is gonna default into vertical speed, plus or minus whatever the rate of climb happens to be, or perhaps the rate of descent happens to be at the moment when you place the flight director on. So perhaps you have vertical speed plus, we'll just say 500. Okay, this is your vertical column here. Over here we have our lateral column. It will default into heading, okay? Then over here we have our auto land capabilities or our landing capabilities. Doesn't have to be our auto land. Moreover, it would be landing capabilities, okay? And we have our auto flight status over here. Auto flight status will be column number five. Now the auto flight status down here is going to show auto thrust in white. That's engaged because we're in speed mode over here. We'll have one FD2 and we will shortly place the autopilot on. Okay. Now let's take a look back here at our steps. Auto thrust comes on, thrust levers climb, flight directors on, it defaults into heading vertical speed. The next thing we're going to do is select the appropriate FMA modes. So perhaps maybe now you want to select for open climb or open descent. You fly into the flight director bars and then you command finally for the last step number five, autopilot on. And you will see over here either AP1 or AP2 as appropriate depending on which autopilot comes on. This is re-automating. This is how you're going to automate in the proper sequence. Thrust Auto thrust on, thrust levers climb, flight directors on, populate the FMA appropriately, fly into the flight director bar, command for autopilot on, and you find yourself back in a fully automated aircraft. You're going to need to do this, as I mentioned, anytime you find yourself with the autopilot off, with the flight directors off, and with the auto thrust off. This will come up various times, numerous times, in your training and also in your checking. So just be ready to do this free automation sequence properly on your instruction, your training sessions, and also on your PC or type rating event. Hopefully you found video, you found value in this video. Look forward to seeing you in upcoming segments. Good. <laughs> yeah. Good. There you go, we got it. One more down. How to, re how to automate on <laughs> YouTube. Yeah. This will be found in our Airbus course. Hang on. We're also going to talk about, we already did steep turns. We're doing re-automating. Stalls, unusual attitude, V1 cut, single engine ILS, single engine go around, flight control law review, green plus yellow system failure, no slat, no flap landing, manual start, a start fault. <sighs> okay. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff we're talking about. 
This will be available in the A320 course in just a few days. Uh, if you want to train with us online, obviously onestepprep.com. If you want to come in person and work your way into this classroom right here where we're shooting this, uh, we would love to have you here in Miami as well. So hopefully we will see you soon, whether virtually or whether right here. Thank you. Next. What do we got?